here, bro. Genuinely some un- Heard of shit right here, bro. I've never seen it before. I've never seen it like this before. And I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I don't, I'm not the type of guy to have an ego. I'm not the type of person to have an ego when it comes to money, followers, any of this shit. But when, when it comes to me being a good person, I have an ego. When I met you, you were in a hole. You, you, you were sad. You were, you say this on stream. You were not in a good place. I dug you out of that fucking hole. You, you started posting on Instagram again. You started posting on TikTok again. You started streaming. You started being happy. Your life got better. Now you're going to the gym again. You're happy. And guess what? All that for you to fall right back in the hole and fucking bury yourself. You fell right back into where I got you out of. Go fuck yourself. That's some bullshit if you ask me. That's some bullshit if you ask me. And guess what? You can fall right back into that hole and I'm not going to be there to dig you out this time. I'm not going to be there to dig you out this time. Sorry. Sorry. Unlucky. Unlucky. Unlucky, Darla. You fumbled. I don't care. I don't care, bro. I'm seeing red now. I'm seeing red. I wasn't going to say shit, but you want to come here and lie on my name. You want to lie on my name, lie and say, I went home to see my ex. Don't ever, don't ever come at my loyalty to anybody. I'm loyal to every person in my fucking life. Fucking Cody upstairs, literally done everything for me. I'll be loyal to him for the rest of my life. There's not a single thing he could do or anybody could do that would make me stab him in the back. Every person I meet and I give my loyalty to, you have that for life. Unless you take it and stab me in the back with it. And that's exactly what she did. And she no longer has that. And she no longer has the privilege of ever having a conversation with a guy like me again. You are on a whole different tier. There are, there's levels to this shit. You're in a whole different bracket. Okay? I'm in the NBA. You're in the fucking AAUG league. Okay? I don't know where the ego came from, but you need to pipe the fuck down. Well said. I don't care. I don't care, bro. I was genuine. You can ask everybody in this house. Last night, I was going to be so mature. I was going to be so mature. I wasn't going to say shit on stream. I wasn't going to say shit at all. I was going to let it go over. I was going to let her live her life. I didn't want to, I didn't want to make her sad. I didn't want to make her upset because I genuinely care. I genuinely do care about her. And then I wake up today to her tweeting some bullshit that I went home and saw my ex just lying. Lying on my name to try to get her name out the heat. And I'm not settling for that. And I know exactly what's going to happen. She's going to go live. She could probably make up a bunch of lies. I'm just a girl. Oh, we're just friends. Oh, this and that. Oh, here we go. Go ahead. Go live. Go make up lies. Go say I did shit that I didn't do. Go make all this shit up. Okay, go do it. Go ahead. I don't care. Because I know who I am. I know who I am inside of me. And unfortunately, this is the second time you've done this to a streamer. This is the second time. Clearly, there's a fucking cycle going around here. There's clearly a cycle going around here. There's clearly a cycle going around here. Some people are just addic addicted to toxicity, and that's what it is. Some people are just addicted to that shit. Some people thrive off of... And, and for the people who are saying... I saw someone in the chat say, oh, you weren't in a relationship. We weren't dating. Okay. Um, you're right. We were not boyfriend and girlfriend, but we were going out on dates... And we had the talk multiple times that we were exclusive, not talking to other people. And I held up my side of the thing. You guys heard last night, Lena say that I left her on delivered for 